ຈຸດໃດປະມົນຕ່າງອັກຄະນີສະບັບກຸມສາຈະໄດ້ມາການວິດີໂອບົງຮຽນຫມົກວິຊາພາສາອັງກຣີກໍກໍາລັດ 1b at the end of the lesson, you will be able to write sentences using a light or would light. Uh, apply some and any in the sentence with the correct uses. ຈັ່ງເປັນແບບອົງຮຽນແມ່ນນີ້ຈັບອົງນັ້ນອາດຈະເຊີ່ so before we go to our new lesson, let's, uh, let me show you about the homework answer from uh, last week. So last week, I let you uh, make the sentences uh, using you can with the uh, practice from uh, last week exercise or practice. So uh, the first one has been given as an example. So uh, number two. You can buy bread, milk, fruit, and meat in the supermarket. You can get US dollars from a bank. Number four, uh, you can buy stamps and sell uh, and send a parcel in a post office. Number five, you can buy a dictionary in a book shop. Six, you can get a medium latte in a coffee shop. Seven, you can buy a shampoo and conditioner in a chemist's. Okay, so I hope that you all got the same answer as this uh, answer. Okay, you have done a very good job. Thank you. So now let's uh, review our vocabulary that we learned last week. So this is bread, milk, fruits, and meat. Okay, and this one is shampoo and conditioner. Parcel and stamp. Okay, so I hope that you remember this uh, word and things that you can use in your daily life. Okay. Okay. So here is the chemist, but in our country in Cambodia, uh, we call it a pharmacy. chemist, pharmacy, Okay. A uh, news agent. News agents. Okay, so now let's move to our new lesson. It's about grammar. So we're going to learn about two points of grammar today. It's about I like or would like on some and any. Okay, but before we go to the main point of our lesson, let's uh, check our new vocabulary. So how can we call this? It's a mental cheese. Uh, just a mental cheese. Then we do more cheese. Uh, no, no, but they uh can buy a rocket to the yam cheese. Just and it has a mental. And this one is Gruyere cheese. Okay. Wow, it's a dry here, and this is we call a normal here. So, um. Uh, but since you mean suck smooth, you can bite chong, you can go to a new sock, you can also suck you, you can have a dry hair. How you need to smear that what means suck and come at that what means by your hair, bite chong, you can smooth it, you can have normal hair. Okay, so this is our activity number one. Look at the pictures. Or oh, where is a dam? Okay, so what can you see from this picture? So this is a dam and this is a seller. So what is a dam uh, buying? Mm. So I think he's buying she uh, cheese from this shop. But now I would like you to hear about the conversation between them in the shop so that you can know where is a dam. All right, so here is the conversation. What you have to do now is to listen. So if you're ready, please listen now. Tape script 12.2. Saying what you want. One. Good morning. 
I'd like some ham, please. How much would you like? Four slices. Would you like anything else? Yes, I'd like some cheese. Do you have any Emmental? I'm afraid we don't have any Emmental. What about Gruyere? No, thank you. Just the ham then. How much is that? Okay, so after you listen about the conversation, I hope that you get the answers. Now let's check the answer. Okay, good morning. I like some ham, please. How much would you like? Four slices. Would you like anything else? Yes, I like some cheese. Do you have an emmental? I'm afraid we don't have an uh, we don't have any emmental. What about gruyere? No, thank you. Just the ham then. How much is that? Okay. So if you all got the same answer as this, uh, you have a good listening skill. Okay. And let's go to our grammar point here. So we have uh, listened to the conversation and we maybe we have noticed about the uh, the word I liked here. So in the Akne band snap conversation of Bang Wen Ni Hai could be I like the knee. Uh, would like the knee. Would you like K I like K. So this is kind of uh, a polite way to ask uh, someone about something and to offer something to someone. Okay. So let's see the uses here. Number one, we use would like to ask for things. Okay. So uh bet a young pop would like nung young uh jump back in moon uh pit uh new hope pit I want and that's my pit I want good we also uh slap the pin on lay the sound lay jung yung ho would like good chin lay cool sound. Jung some rap would like in a con positive form, good young pra some rap conka uh snap some away moy. Hey, chân nhân mơ tùng rộng bọc kế I, you, he, she, we, they Ok, bọn ta ở miền ý tế Chân nhân hồ I like, I like a cup of coffee Chân ô tì hò thang nó bê đầy dân chân nhâm ý mũi dân ạ Chân I like to have a noodle Rồi có bê đầy dân tư chô hàng cà phê ý mũi dân ạ I like to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee Ok, chân ở dân tư có mong bọc kế dân ạ Bà sân thân mùi nịp bàn trong lịch bằng tọa nó cứ chỉ use as tp so we use would like to offer things cho nên bây giờ dân xua kê chỉ question hay dân hồ would like nhé tự theo would you like some cake dân xua kê kê chẳng nhằm kê ớt kê would you like some candy chẳng nhằm score của ớt tế chân ở ní cư chì ở vị thi xa rồi có ở việc phương cao pra question would like ở dù mẹ áp dân offer với mùi tên hồi nào mà nè hai ní cư chì tùm rộng nè would plus subject plus like and object ok use this number 3 look at the answers here ok so earlier we asked the question would you like a cup of tea and then we answer yes please No, thank you. Chúng tôi dùng nơi khu nông ở vật thoa khu mai dưỡng trà cà rô nợ bò dưỡng mà hai dưỡng hai kia nhầm bài. Một bông nhầm bài ấy, nâng ngay bông chơi ở cung trời ở trong đời. So, in English, it is similar to our khu mai culture. So, we ask them, would you like some, or would you like a cup of coffee or tea? But if you want to have it, you can say yes, please. Or if you don't want it, We can say no, thank you. All right. Um. So we use would like, not want, to be polite. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want something, uh, just don't say I want a coffee. It doesn't sound polite at all. So, um, if you want to make it sound politely, uh, you can use would like. I like a coffee, please. So it sounds very polite when you ask something from someone, okay? And the last point of would like, uh, we use would like to, uh, sorry, we use would like with another verb. Okay, chẳng dùng ra would like nâng, chú mùi nâng kể giả sạp, okay, dùng mùi tiêu hó. Would you like to go out tonight? 
okay um would, what would you like to do so I got chẳng thu ấy nó không dục năm chẳng tới chẳng phá đi nó không khá ọt okay so this is how we use would like or uh light okay all right so let's move to our new activity activity number two Look at the picture. Where is Adam? So Adam just left the uh, cheese uh, cheese shop, and now he's uh, he is in the chemist, I think. So, well, look at the conversation then, and listen to it. So you have to do what you have to do is to listen and complete the conversation. Two. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some shampoo. We have lots. Would you like it for dry or normal hair? Oh, uh, dry, I think. Okay. Try this one. Anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't have any conditioner. I'd like some conditioner for dry hair, please. Yes, of course. That's £6.90, please. Okay, so after you listen to the uh, audio, I hope that you got the answer. So now let's check the answer. So can I have you? Yes, please. I like hair. I like some shampoo. Okay, we have lots. Or oh, would you like it for dry or normal hair? Dry, I think. Okay, try this one. Anything else? Uh oh yeah I don't have any uh, conditioner. I like some conditioner for dry hair please. Yes of course that's 6.9 pound please. Okay so um I hope that you got the same answer as mine. So now looks at the uh another grammar point is about some and any. So number one we use some in positive sentences. Okay then you press some I like some ham, there are some cheese, we have some books. Okay. We have some books. Okay. So number two, we use some when we offer things or ask for things in questions. Jump press some ban the con question when then a bit a yum but got some moon and con night a yum jump offer a mood on an amnia or go yum jump snap some way would be on an amnia. So look at the example. Would you like some wine? Can I have some cheese? Okay. Jump a yum offer wine the gay we like some wine. Okay. Or go yum some gay. Can I have some cheese? Okay, to do the same, you can add a negative form or a question form only. We sound and then, uh, not natural, but we can use some in the question form when we offer things and ask for things. Okay. And number three, we use any in negative. So here's when you want to use some in negative, you should use any because it has the same meaning any mean class class ne? there isn't any bread we don't have any friends there aren't any books okay don't remember some yung brown on positive any yung brown on negative and also any we use in question is there any ham do you have any money are there any people so, if you want to ask about how many people, uh, is there anything else, okay, so we use any. And again, when you want to offer things or ask things from someone, you can use them in the question form. Okay. And this is your homework. What you have to do is to create a conversation by imagining you have a friend at your house. Make him or her feel at home. Offer some of these things. Okay, Jung Yung Song Bukachi conversation. Bukachi conversation with Mel. Da Yung Sumai Tang, Yung 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 Yung
nghe rằng thay ở tiền dương có đôi chiếc tiền quạt đá chứng dương ở ở như thay dương xua quạt ở ở quạt hộp này hộp nút có quạt trăng thua ấy thua nút chứng anh này ok chứng ở những cái chuyện activity rồi có chia ở là bỏ đại phong ăn và cả những cái conversation những bạn mình đôi chỉ ở coffee a glass of juice some ice cream something to eat watch a food ở watch the football listen to music watch tv see the garden uh, play some computer games okay so thank you so much everyone for uh paying attention to this video i hope that you get the point of the lesson and thank you so much goodbye good luck stay safe and healthy